Welcome to homework. So in this problem, we're going to have a person just standing in the middle of a completely frozen pond. It's completely frictionless. And the person wants to get away from the pond. So how would the person go about to get away from the pond? Let's put a little scarf on this person over here. Put a little clothing. Some pants. Little boots over here. So if it's completely frictionless, no matter how you try to walk, no matter how you try to pull yourself, you're never going to be able to move. But there is still a way that you can get to the other side, and that is by conservation of momentum. There are two different ways that you can do this. The first way will be by throwing your clothes. You can see that by seeing the initial momentum would be zero and would have to be equal to final momentum. which would then be composed of the momentum from the person plus the momentum from the clothing. Since the final momentum is equal to the initial, which is equal to zero, the momentum of the person is equal to the opposite of the momentum of the clothing. Now the momentum of the person is just going to be the mass of the person times the velocity that the person is going to achieve after he throws their clothes. And the momentum of the clothing is going to be the mass of the clothing multiplied by the velocity at which the person throws his clothes. So then we can see that the velocity that the person is going to achieve is going to be negative the mass of the clothes divided by the mass of the person multiply by the velocity that this person throws his clothes. Since there's no friction whatsoever in the pond, once the person throws their clothes, they're just going to keep moving at this velocity VP, and they're not going to stop until they reach the other side of the pond. Another way for the person to get out of there, maybe without undressing, it would be for the person to blow air from their mouth. So that in this case, you would have the momentum of the person, which be would be the opposite of the momentum of the air that the person blows. So then the momentum of the person is the mass of the person multiplied by the velocity that they're, they're going to achieve, which is going to be equal to negative mass of the air times the velocity of the air. The velocity this person is going to achieve is going to be negative of the mass of air that they blow divided by the mass of the person multiplied by the velocity at which they're blowing the air. The, the positive in this case would be that the person could still keep blowing air over and over again to keep increasing their speed, increasing their momentum up until they get to the other side of the pond. However, that would be very effortful since air is very light and the person would have to blow a lot while in this case over here, the clothes have a lot more mass. 
So then the person could achieve a greater velocity very fast and they would be able to reach the other side of the pond a lot faster than blowing over here.